back with the Fit Aid Show. I am your host, Kenny Santucci, cracking up a fresh new Fit Aid. And I've always dreamed of being sandwiched between these two beautiful ladies, and today I am. We always hear the stories, especially here at the games, of the success stories. You hear about this one, you do great, and you know, the surprise win. But there are always a couple athletes who fall through the cracks, a couple athletes who are just right there. And here's two unbelievable athletes who I want to give them their moment to shine. We'll start over here with Colleen Foch. We got Christina and Dolly, but Colleen, tell us your story leading up to uh, regionals and then how regionals finished out this year for you. Um, so this year training wise was great. Actually got to train with this one quite often, which was awesome. Um, yeah. I think we really complimented each other. She's super badass with gymnastics and I'm not so much so super badass really with cool. lifting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Monster of I tried to catch up with her on that. Um, but uh, regionals was a lot of fun, but extremely stressful. Uh, and ended up seventh, which was, I mean, great in the sense that I was 22nd the year before. So lots of progress being made, but always hurts a little bit more when you're that close. So well, it came down to that last workout. Yeah. Tell us about that. Uh, Tell us what you were thinking when you were running. So it was between me and, I mean, basically between like fourth and I would say, I think eighth, we were all within like two to five points of each other. Um, and uh, you start to envision what it would be like to, you know, what your training would look like for the next few months, what it would feel like to be out on the soccer field, the tennis stadium. You start to, that stuff becomes way more real. Yeah, start to um, envision all that. Yeah, and, uh, and then, so for it to feel like halfway real and then to not have it happen, um, it's, I mean, I couldn't be happier for the people that made it. And especially someone like Jamie, who's been trying for so many years and to see her name get announced and like just immediate tears and like, that's beautiful. And like, hope, you know, I hope to have that moment one day, but um, uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I would be lying if I said it wasn't heartbreaking oh, and it's, course. and it's not, it, you don't get over that type of thing in a day, in a week, in a month. Um, still is, I mean, I couldn't, I'm so happy to be here and get to see everyone like you guys and stuff, but um, Again, I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't rather be out there competing. Oh, cool. So it's, um, but yeah, so just got to get another good year under my belt and same goals, still want to be here competing. So yeah. Moving on, rock star, two years in a row, heavy favorite, every blog you read, every Instagram uh, CrossFit following you could imagine. <laughs> Had you predicted to do be an earth shaker in two years, what happened? Well, in well, 2014, uh, I missed making the games by like a couple points when they only took two out of Canada East. I was third, um, so that drove me crazy. Uh, worked my ass off again for another year, and about four weeks out of regionals, I blew my Achilles. Um, honestly, that was like a freak accident. Um, it really didn't have much to do with the way I was training, training or anything like that. That's just something that happens. It's out of your control, but um, my recovery went really, really well and I came back stronger than ever and I felt great. I was going into regionals and unfortunately on the snatch ladder on my very last one, something went wrong in my shoulders. I heard like, honestly, it was like seven pops. It was just like, and I, so I tore both my shoulders and oh my it ends up that I was like a little bit overtrained and so I'm dealing with that. So again, it's uh Now do you blame that on coaching? Do you blame that on yourself? Like, what? Um, I think it's just, it's a, it's a, an effect of both. Like yeah. I should have been monitoring better. My coach should have been monitoring better. It's just that thing, that stuff happens, it actually happens to a lot of athletes. Yeah. Um, it's just not talked about that much. I've kind of been open with mine a little bit because I want people to be aware of it, especially women. Um, it's really important for women to be keeping track of their levels, their hormone levels and stuff like that because that's what's happening to me is I got really messed up from being overtrained and so I haven't even been able to train really right now. So I've seen both of you work out before. I mean, mm -hmm. you guys are freaks I, i'm very embarrassed to say i wouldn't even be able to keep up with the two uh, but at the same time i mean does this make you more hungry for next year 
I mean, a- absolutely. Um, I think it's like a little thorn in your side that you can move on, but you'll never forget yeah. it. Um, and I think it's obviously it would be way easier and a lot more fun if, I mean, we had both just made it. But yeah. of course, I think it's something that you hate right now, but I think in years later, like, you know, I think one day, hopefully we both make it to the games and I think we'll look back and be like, okay, well, that's the extra edge I needed to kind yeah. of get there and push I kind of look at it as, it as like the harder the, the, the battle, the sweeter the victory, right? Yeah. So like, I mean, it's been a hard couple of years, but it's when I actually make it there, it's going to be like so worth it. It's going to feel so much better, you know, just if it was just easy. So two rock stars in the games. I mean, both of you rightfully should be out there right now. Watching these other girls compete, who are you really pulling for? I mean, you guys have probably worked out with almost everyone out there, if not everyone. Who are you pulling for? Honestly, the person that I was like super excited about was Jamie. Yeah. Uh, I just feel like she really deserved to be there. But I have, my money is on Sarah to win. Yeah. I would yeah. love to see. I. The girls, like, the points right now is so close. Yeah. I think it could be anyone, depending on what the workouts are. But um, I would love to see Kara somewhere on the podium. I think the last two years she's had, you know, to battle just to stay in it. Last yeah. year with the heat stroke and then the year before she had, like, the back and the jaw thing. So um, I'd love to see her up there. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be a fight. Yeah. It's going to be brutal. Well. And who's your pretty friend? I mean, she hasn't said Alex. much since she's been sitting Hi, there. I'm Alexandra. <laughs> and what's your story, Alexandra? I'm a Southern Californian. I've you know, been doing CrossFit for a few years. I've been training with Christine. It's been really fun. And we can say every practice. It's like road to the games, road to regionals. Like That's our, <laughs> that's our goal. We want to be on the competition floor together. Cool. That's awesome. Well, ladies, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you for letting me live out my little young boy fantasy. <laughs> um, keep up the good work. And guys, don't feel too bad for them. They're both unbelievable athletes who are going to crush it next year. Both sponsored, Reebok sponsored athlete, right? Redline, who else you got? Uh, Nike. Nike, Hot Shot. <laughs> can't hang with us. Zero can't point. Hang with us. Zero point. What's zero point? You're here it's working. It's a new uh, compression company. They okay. just uh, cool. they just launched over we here. We have so. to try some compression. I, lo- I yeah. look good in tights. Yeah. That's <laughs> what they tell me. Girls, thank you so much. We'll be back with some more celebrities and guests in just a bit.